Okay, seems to be better. Phew. Hey there. I think it's better. Yeah, I don't I don't see like a Hello ladies. <laughs> Little technical technical love going on here. Welcome. 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 Glad to glad to be with y'all tonight. I'm going to try to pull up our comments here. Um see if anybody's on with me yet. I um oh no, that was the other one. Anyway, I'm still trying to pull up comments. It is so good. So good to be with y'all tonight. We are live at in Haystacks Crafty Corner. Uh, Going to be making uh, tuxedo pockets, and um, uh, these are these are really fun. Really fun. You know, this technical stuff is fun tonight. <laughs> oh goodness gracious! Still can't pull up comments, but uh, we'll get through it. We will get through it together. When I first uh, come on live just a minute ago, um, I, you know, I couldn't, oh, hey, hey, there I am. Hey, Cheryl. Hi, Angela. Hi, Marla. So good to see y'all. When I, when I hit live just a minute ago, there was like a, a delay or something, you know, in my, um, uh, on my, on my screen. And I was like, oh my goodness, we're, we're going to have to fix that. I do not want to live the whole time with, with that whole thing going on. You can't hear anything? Okay. I, I wonder if that's my my fault. Can can everybody else hear me? I don't know. I think, I think I'm good. Okay. Well, maybe Angela just can't hear anything because she's doing something. I don't know. But we're making tuxedo pockets. We are kicking off, very excited, uh, to kick off great Marla thank you uh, our November events uh, excited about this uh, we've got our tuxedo pockets we've got the gift card um, slider gift card holders I will be doing you know a tutorial on that um, Mar uh, Mandy has got almost said Marla <laughs> Mandy has got her Marguerite Miller and hi Patty uh, hello Donna Marie how are you sweetie Barbara so good to see you um, We've got the Marguerite Miller collage uh, challenges or, or swaps. I'm not quite sure on those. Um, the ATCs. I, I We've got a couple of giveaways. So we're kicking that off tonight. Very excited about that. Um, I don't know, Angela. Maybe try to go out and come back in. Uh, see see if that helps. That's what I did just a minute ago, and it, it fixed me. Hello, Alida. Is it Alida or Alida? Either way, it, it's a very pretty name. Uh, my name is just, um, oh my goodness, it's my name, it's what I have. Uh, hello, Terry. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are here. Going to make these tuxedo pockets. This is this is what I, I used a 12 by 12 double-sided um, piece of cardstock, it, you know, kind of a lot, lighter weight cardstock. The, the thicker your cardstock is, uh, the more it's going to buckle, you know, on you. I just went ahead and tied it up with a, with a little pretty ribbon. And, uh, but these are, let me take out the, the, you can see why they call it tuxedo. And, uh, you know, I kind of liked this paper. I don't know. It, out of the, out of the ones I had, uh, it was, I liked it the most. <laughs> well, probably not the most, but this is what I chose. And, um, I, I kind of decorated this pocket. Uh, the way we'll do them is we will, um, uh, make a pocket. Uh, you're gonna, you're gonna fold this in thirds. Uh, so you've got like a, a three, three little section here. Uh, we're gonna fold the the bottom back to form this pocket, and then to make the tuxedo, we'll fold these um, these parts down. And the way I made this one uh, with the twelve by twelve double sided cardstock, um, you know, and the, you know the double sided is 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 important. Uh, unless, you know, you use a coffee dye or a book page. I want to make one with a book page, but I didn't make one beforehand. And so I I didn't want to do that live and have writing upside down and all that other jazz. I hadn't figured that part out as far as the book pages, uh, honestly. Because I know that some of that writing is going to be upside down and it's going to bug me. So, um, but I, 
made, I put, I put a little pocket here with coffee dye paper, put little tuck spots on either side, tucked in just some ephemera that I had. I used some foreign book pages here, inked it up, uh, tucked some little ephemera in here. I'd, I'd like to decorate here, but I looked at my time and went, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm running close on time. Um, and tucked in some ephemera in here, but I like using a tall uh, tag or ephemera because it, it holds the little the little flap tuxedo part down. Uh, then on this part, I made a little, well, if it didn't glue in, I made a little flappy uh, little journal place here and uh, inked that up. And I did that on each each side here. And just, you know, you don't have to do that. You can make a pocket here. Uh, you know, however you, you wish to do it. This is just what I, I decided to do. I thought this was kind of kind of cool. A uh, little writing spot. I'd like to decorate this. I'd like to decorate that. Uh, you know, Lord knows. Uh, you guys know me. I'm going to embellish everything. So, and then, um, the reason I said that this, you know, you could put this, uh, you know, of course, it's going to have to go, this is 12 by 12 size. So, what do we got here? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight and a half. So, this is eight and a half uh, tall by four. What do we got there? One, two, three, four. Yeah. Four inches wide by eight and a half. Uh, but, you know, your pocket, your sizes are, hi Julie, your sizes are going to vary because it's going to depend on how tall do you want your pocket. And uh, did a little decoration there uh, with a little die cut, um, decorated this pocket. Uh, but your, your sizes are going to vary because it's going to depend on how tall or how deep or how narrow you want your, your pockets. Um, but the basic concept is going to be the same no matter what size paper you use. Uh, just keep it in mind that a double side is probably the best way to go unless you're using like your coffee dye paper that's going to be, you know, the same on both sides. Avocado dye, tea dye, you know, whatever uh, kind of thing. And I thought about using some coffee dyed paper tonight or avocado dyed paper. But you guys know, hello Sharon, nice to see you too sweetie. But you guys know I've been working with the um, Line Dot Arrow Anti-Glace and Roses. And I had this little page left that was double-sided. It's got avocado dye on one side and this gorgeous page here. And I thought, well, 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 uh, this will be perfect. And what a pretty uh, tuxedo uh, pocket thing it will it will be. And But what I was saying is, is you could glue this... Um, you know, into your journal, uh, it could be a just a uh, an add-on piece into your journal. Uh, I'll I put the ribbon around it. Hello, Lori. How are you doing, sweetie? Uh, I put the ribbon around it because I, you know I didn't like this whole flappy thing. So I just I just tied a little ribbon around it, and um, and that way it kind of is is it, it's a closure, you know. Uh, but this and this is a really cool standalone piece. I think it makes a, actually a great gift for somebody. Uh, tuck in your tags, your ephemera, uh, and I even thought you know tuck in your gift card. You know, like in the you know put in your little you know tags or ephemera or whatnot, and uh, put your gift card here. You know, and I thought it would make a great gift card. Uh, holder and the smaller you make them you know you could vary it with your with your sizes of paper this just happens to be a 12 by 12 that I did and then you know putting these little and of course you don't have to you could put pockets here I just chose a little tucky thing there and that's how I made this one but let me um, well hello how are you doing is it is it Chano 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 Chana tell me how to pronounce your name my love Nice to see you tonight. I'm so, so happy you're here. Um, you know, but please tell me how to pronounce your name. I don't want to, I don't want to, I'm, I'm from Texas, honey. Uh, I, I'll butcher something if I can. But uh, I think the the smaller you make them, uh, I, honestly, uh, I think they'll be just cute as they can be. 
and I'm going to use uh, this line dot arrow paper uh, from the Antique Lace and Roses, and I'm probably going to slip it in my in my journal. I don't know. Have y'all seen my video? My little um, my little clutch bag journal thing, and there's a little pocket uh, in 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 the inside of this uh, this clutch bag. And I'm going to make it and uh, put it in here. And and just have it, you know, like a little add-on piece to this. To this, uh, this little project I did. Well, do you if it's single-sided, you know, don't worry about it. Work with what you have. Uh, the single-sided paper, I just would ink it or embellish it. That's that's the way I would do it. Uh, oh, thank you, Julie. And I still need to upload that... that um, video for the clutch, and I will, and I will do that. I told you I would, but as you can see already, technical things have been my my love today. I'm telling you, I've had to turn my computer off and on uh, twice already. Uh, all right, so I'm going to choose now which side do I want where? Um, did I want, you know, what do I want to show where? What do I want on the back? What do I want? I'm going to quit tying this because I'm going to keep referring to it. Um, what do I want to be, you know, this piece here, you know, etc. So at that at this point, this is where you need to decide what you want to show. Uh, like if you're working with a single-sided paper, probably you'll want the pretty side to the back. That's just my thinking. And then we're going to fold this in thirds. And... This is the trickiest part, really. Uh, but it, it's it's really not. And you know what? If you don't get it exactly perfect, your life goes on. You know what I'm saying? But I like to leave just a little tad of a bit of room here because I, I don't want it to buckle when I when I fold. You know? So, and this is torn paper that I'm using. So this is going to be, huh, we'll just see how this works. Because, you know, you know how torn paper is. I'm not quite altogether sure if everything is. Um, I think it's. I think it's straight. It's not like you're using a a, pa a piece of paper out of a out of a paper pad. You know what I'm saying? Me anyway. And uh, so this this might be a fun experience tonight. I don't know. But well, let's uh, let's get this let's get this to where we want to do it in about thirds here. And I'm leaving a little bit of room so the paper doesn't buckle on me. And I'm going to let that go. And I'm going to make my fold. On the other paper, this other one I did, I, I needed, I, I used a bone folder to, to burnish it. Yeah. Now, on this paper here, this is just a regular paper. I'm... I, finger crease is going to be just fine for me, you know. So, there are our three, uh, our double fold that makes three, three sections. Does that make sense so, so far? And then we bring this down. You bring your, your top right corner down to create that tuxedo, what I consider, what I call the tuxedo part. And uh, but it's going to be your flap, so you've you've created that, and then you're going to do the same on this section here, and you'll bring this down, and you can tell I'm thinking because I get quiet, right? When is Stacy quiet? Not very often. Hello, Cheryl. Hi, Kim. Hi, Joe. And there you have it. And then there's your, your tuxedo part. Um, let me see here. I'm going to bring this in just a little bit more. Because that tuxedo part didn't line up. See how that happened there? That's, that's not lining up. So, I'm going to readjust this. Because that's going to look silly if I don't. So now let me see if I got it. Yes, I do. So now we're meeting. Everything's good. This this side is a little, little over. 
the luxury of using this paper I'm using here is it's it's so much more forgiving uh, than like a uh, the cardstock, you know. Let me can see how it's just barely hanging over there. Of course, I'm a perfectionist. I, I don't like that, so I'm redoing this. See, I got quiet again. Okay, so let me redo my, my flappy. Alright, and we still are looking good in the neighborhood. Good job, Stacy. Alright, so I've got, now I've got my flaps on each of these. And then we're going to open this. And uh, I'll, I personally like a pocket, you know, uh, down here, but we're going to deal with that in a minute. Now we open it up, and you turn it over to the back, what's, you know, technically the back side, and you'll decide where do you want your pockets. And I'm just going to make kind of a shallow pocket. Because I'm using uh, an an a what what was is started as an A4 paper, an eight and a half by eleven paper, um, but of course I tore the white edges off. You know how when you print a digital, it creates those white edges around, and uh, that's why this is kind of a torn piece. So here we are, still looking good. Sort of. Let me. Okay. I'm lined up here. There we go. And here I am. There we are. And we have created, that's all there is to it. There's a little, uh, I personally like the little showing here on each side. Uh, but you can bring it all the way over, you know. But you know, I, I, I found in the, la in the two that I made that it tends to buckle a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And then this is, the, this is all there is to it. And, um you have created a tuxedo pocket. You've got a pocket here in the back. Uh, you've got a pocket on this this little flap here on this little section here. We'll have a pocket here. We'll glue these. We'll glue this little edge here. We're going to glue this little edge here, and that's all the glue you need. And uh, then, at this point, I I personally would like a pocket here, which I'm going to create. Probably a tuck spot. A tuck spot. And uh, we'll see how far I get because of because of time and whatnot. Uh, I like to use my art art glitter or my um, wet glue for um, for this. I I find it it works um, a little better. You know, glue stick. You can use your glue stick, but you know, I'm I'm a kind of heavy handed with the glue stick. Plus, I have one of those fat glue sticks, so. Well, if I can get my glue to come out. This happens to me a lot. So, get out my pokey tool. And so, I'll create this. I'll glue this little edge down here. And then that's going to create my, my pocket. And I'll do the same on this side here. And see how easy these are? That's when I said they were easy. I wasn't joking. It's really just about folding the paper. And, um, you know, picking your paper is probably, you know, a, a pretty... For me, it was a it was a, a process. You know, I was like, oh, this one, that one. And um, I like the cardstock better, personally. It makes a sturdier um, project. But I liked this paper and wanted to play with it, so that's where I'm at tonight. And but there you have it. And so let's let's open this up. 
giving that glue time time to dry there. And let's let's look at this and see what I want to put there. And you know, because the paper's pink, and I was I was looking at this before we came on, and thinking I could. Because the more things I add on this, um, you know, the sturdier this this little this little thing's gonna be. So that's that's kind of a a cool thing, you know. I'm just gonna make a mark where I'm gonna cut that. I'm gonna decide where I want to put a. Uh, how tall I want this pocket, and I think I'm going to just choose about right there. See how I, I measure <laughs> with a pencil. Presentation paper. I don't think I know what that is. What weight is that? Is that a 32 pound? My daughter gave me some 32 pound paper, and I'm in love with it, and I will be purchasing that here forward. She said she got it at Walmart, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm down for Walmart. Uh, purchasing 32 pound it was fabulous um, I I was I was I was way impressed with the 32 pound paper I use a hundred and ten pound on my ephemera personally but this is just you know it's it's what is available at um, at Walmart you know I, I could go to a um, office supply place but Honestly, um, Walmart is, is a little bit more accessible to me. So I'm going to make a little notch. I like those notches in there. Line that up, get it centered. I like, I like my pockets to have notches. Hi, Dana. Sis, what are you doing tonight? I don't get to talk to my sis much anymore, guys. I got this new ink. It is called Aged Mahogany. Tabitha sent this to me, and I'm in love. I am in love. Look at this. Look, look at this. Look how gorgeous this ink is. It is this burgundy wine. Oh goodness, it is breathtaking. I, I'm, I'm crushing on this, on this, on this ink for sure. I've like been using the wham out of it. Isn't that gorgeous? I, I just love it. And uh, I'm going to use that. And this is going here. I left a little, I made sure and left ample room for things to fold. I didn't go from fold to fold. Uh, because I don't want to buckle. I don't want it to buckle when I go to try to fold it. So that's, a, that's another tip for you. And then we'll just form this pocket here. And then we'll pick out something for um, maybe a tuck. I'm going to do tucks. Little tucks over there on each of those little corners. And I want a little bit of pink to show at the bottom. So. And then there's our, there's our pocket. And then I'm going to do a tuck here and a tuck here. So. Let's see. I still have this left, and it's pretty. But I, I kind of want, I like a balance. So I'm not going to use that. Um, let me look. Let me look here. I have this. This is on, um, this is the 110 pound weight. And I could do this with the tuck, and this side over here. And wouldn't that be pretty? In this gorgeous paper, oh my goodness. So pretty. Okay. Let me see here. And I'll just I'm gonna tear it. I'm gonna tear a am I going oh it doesn't matter. Okay. And then if I use this I I got that white edge showing, I don't I don't always like that. But if I use this, then who cares? And isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love this ink. And then I'll just make a little tucky, except that's too tall. So let's do it again, Stacy. Let 
That'll work. That should work. And it does. So then we'll do another one on this other side. And let me look. This will give me a good barometer. Yeah, this paper is gorgeous. I got to play with this paper all month. <laughs> what a blessed girl I am. She's got a new kit coming out for um, something about winter. So I'm kind of excited about that for sure. All right, the way I do these so that they're, I, I, again, I'm I'm kind of, I'm kind of uh, OCD about this. Is I kind of start with a square. That's just the way I kind of do it. And then there's a little tucky there. That'll work. See, and I didn't get the white on this one because I tore, tore it right. I always get it backwards. Do y'all do that? Where, I don't know, some people want the white part. You know what I'm saying? So let's, tuck, let's uh, set this down. And then we can put some little tickets or something in on this side here. And uh, that's, you know, of course, that's a fun part, right? Embellishing and decorating it. I think um, I saw somebody um, in a in a group I don't know which group asked a question do you oh I think it was just my friend Stephanie Davis she asked do, do you leave journaling a lot of journaling space in your journals or do you embellish I was like uh yeah I embellish 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 what about y'all do you like a lot of journaling space or do you you like to embellish All right, this is looking good so far. And look, it's already, well, see, look, you're not here. <laughs> see, I feel like you guys are with me. It's already sturdy, getting sturdy. So it's not, you know, hey, this is this is still working out. Still working out. I'm, I'm still irritated by this little fold thing here. It's driving me nuts. There we go. There she goes. Now, let's, let's start having some fun with... Um, let's work on our pockets. I, I, these pockets need something. Look at them. And you know what I didn't do a minute ago is ink. So, and I'm going to keep using my, my aged mahogany because it's just gorgeous. And it really is hugging on this, uh, this regular copy paper stuff here. My cat sat on my... I was going to print uh, some new pages of this kit, but my cat sat on the printer, and um, it's off. And it takes a while for it to come back on, and I didn't decide that until the last minute. <laughs> so I was like, oh, well, can't print right now. I can print later. Oh, that cat. She jams my printer. Oh, she drives me nuts. I was shooting that video for the... Um, for the design team thing and here she comes shaking the camera oh goodness she's a mess I you know of course you don't have to ink but y'all know I love it so <laughs> this is what I'm doing you've made these before Terry they sure are fun and I should have inked before I glued that down but you know I've learned from Pam from Paper Outpost. You don't have to. You can work around that. Would have been easier if I had inked around it. But since I didn't, let's just kiss it with that. See, it's not too bad. That's alright. And then I'm going to get these little this little part here. Gosh, this ink is so pretty. Thank you, Tabitha. I don't know. She's been quiet this afternoon. Okay. Let me 
open this. Let's see where I'm at. Yep, got one more side and I'll be done. I know. Ink, ink, ink. Alright, oh well, I lied. I'm going to ink this too. Because I, I like the distinction that it's going to give right there. See, uh, ink makes all the difference in the world. Sure, sure does. And then, and it doesn't matter, I want to say, whether you're going to fold it this way or this way. I, I personally like it where the right goes in and the left goes over it. I, that's just me. Um, when I was playing around with it earlier, that's when, when I decided. Okay, what did you say about the ink and angel? It stops work well when you forget. Yeah, well, you know, it's all right. It's all right. Okay, I've got a lot of fussy cuts left from, look at all this, from uh, from working on that project. So I'm going to pull all that out. This is going to be pretty on there. And I might use this tiny chandelier. And then here's a, no, that's the same. And then, oh, the mirrors were cute. There's a little butterfly. Here's a, here's the here's the mirrors. I don't know about these big ones. That might be pretty on there. That would really. Where are we gonna put that? I like I like that. I might use that right here. What do y'all think? That'll be nice. But I'm gonna ink it in. Ground espresso. Not the mahogany. And um, and of course you don't you don't have to embellish these. You know, I just it's just what I do. And um, and I think uh, the book pages um, I'm gonna kiss this little white part here because I don't like it it's so stark white. I think it makes a big difference. Um, that was gathered twigs. I kind of put on there so it would knock down that white. Um, what was I saying? Probably something about embellishing. I like that just like it is. Uh, I could back it with um, a book page or a music. Let me look as I'm yapping. What if I did use like a French book page or something behind it. I don't know. I, I really like it just like that. I think. I have this little mulberry that's pretty. It's got that silver sparkle to it. You can't even see it anyway. And then I could use coffee dye behind it. What do y'all think? Y'all like it just like it is? I like it just like it is, honestly. So that's what we'll do. Let me get my my thingies so I don't get glue everywhere. And since I'm going to go paper to paper, I'm done with this, so I'm going to put my topper on. Thank you, Tabitha, for a topper. I won't be using any more wet glue. And... Will uh, I, I just like to use the stick glue when I'm doing paper to paper. But a, a but a book page one of these. Oh, you think a book page I should have backed it with? Oh well, you might have been right. Sorry. I just like the way it pops on this page personally. I really like it. Is it sticking? Yeah, let's stick it there. And then, I like this pocket. I'm probably going to leave it alone. You know? And then there's going to be ephemera in here and ephemera in here. So I don't know that I'm going to worry about, about that section there. So, let's look at this. And those are a little big, huh? Let me look at more. Let 
more opportunities that I have with all of this stuff. Oh, I have these cute bees. I might use those. I don't know. Those are ugly. Never mind. Take that back. Let me get out. You liked it as is? I did. That's why I stuck it down. Um, you know, the, the picking for embellishing, I try not to put y'all through that. You know, where I'm like, oh, should I do this? Should I do that? Should I do it? I try hard not to not to put y'all through all that. Oh, look at my loose little tickets. I think those are going to go in there. Um, but I think I'll do like a word cluster on, on these pockets. So let me pull out my little words, or some of them. And we shall... We shall look at that. I like that, that handwritten number 23 there. This is pretty cool, too. I think I'll... Oh, I like it. It doesn't matter. I'll use one on one side, one on the other. And then... I'll just pick a word. And we'll make a, just like a little, little cluster thingy there. That's cute. I just keep pulling things out. I like that too. That that one's smaller. So let me pick a word and quit him hawing around. Okay, here is that one nineteen that's smaller, and I may use that instead of that big one, because that is a little big on there. So we'll do that, and then let me get to my words. They're down here somewhere. Okay, I like this patience. And we'll... I leave these... I've told y'all before, I leave these kind of... all together so I don't... I can find them easier. But, if you have not signed up for this event, uh, I think I think the partner date's the 14th. I'd have to I'd have to you know look, but I'm pretty sure it's the 14th. But the event starts right now. No, that's another event. See, I entered so many events. Uh, it's not. It's like the eighth, eighth maybe. Just look under tuxedo pockets. Uh, swap and sign up there and we're partnering in, in about a week I, I do know that I'm partnering in about a week so and then I'm going to do a French book page now comes the book page Terry and well that's good I love a rough tear, personally, and that's just a tad bit tall, so, now, brown or mahogany, I think I'll go with some brown, and I'm using gathered twigs on this one. Because I love the pink and the brown. And you know, too much of, of like... I, I like to... I really like to mix inks, honestly. I like... I like it where... Like... Where I just put the... The gathered twigs. And then I come back and just kind of... Just barely tap it with this ground espresso. And then it just really, really helps it to pop out, you know? And there's that. We'll do that. 
Yeah, I love lots of layers. That's why my journals get so fat. <laughs> it's just, I keep going and going and going. But when you have pretty papers to play with, you know, it's just, it's hard to stop. Truly it is. For me, anyway. But I, I consider this to be the fun part myself. Is the embellishing. That looks good. I like that alright. That works right there. And then we'll do this one. And I think for the sake of uniformity, ooh, I said that word, I will go ahead and do the basic same thing. Except I've got a whole fired up mess here. Can't. Let me find more French book page. So that's not really wide enough. This one is, and but it fits just perfect. Look at that. It was made to go there. That is amazing. I love that when that happens. You find a little scrap. I save everything. But Mandy Bachelor sent me these, like a little set of um, some French book pages. Oh, I've used them. I think on. I think I've used them on every project. <laughs> I've done since I got them. I, I love them. Love, love, love them. But uh, sign up for the event and get you a partner and uh, make you make you these. And then your, your partner will bless you with some. And um, it's our it's our first uh, swap, you know, kind of uh, event swap thing. We have the tag your partner event. That's, um, I think that's a Tuesday event, but, um, this is the first one that I entered for us, for our, for our lovely, beautiful group. So happy to be working with you guys. I'm, I'll, well, that 23 was big. Ooh, look at this. I love that. So we're using that. I've got to print more of these. I, I've used a bunch of them. So we're going to put her down here. And then I'll just use this word that I picked up. Yeah, I've got I haven't I haven't put my name and address in there either yet, but I'm going to. I'll do that when I get off of here tonight. And then we I entered the Christmas now, of course, this is not Christmas cards right now, but when we're talking about our events, I entered our Christmas card swap, and we plan on um, doing the Christmas cards this month and next. But you can get a jump on getting your Christmas cards, uh, you know, by having the event now. And uh, but we'll do, but we'll run it both months so that you can get, you know, a minimum of four cards. Um, I had put in the event, you know, please make your partner at least two cards. But, like, I'll sign up and, I'll, you know, I'll get busy and I'll, I'll try to send at least three myself. Okay, that's nice, too. And then we have this. I, I think this is gorgeous. I might leave this alone. Um... But let's do something different there. Um, I my, won't be able to use my, my pretty chandelier the because it's too big. The windows, I mean, the mirrors are too big. That's too big. But this butterfly isn't. And, and let me see what I got out here. Oh, I like this. It says Paris. It 
see how much, I don't know if you can tell, these are like I did them in two sizes off of my printer. I scaled it, and uh, sometimes I need bigger uh, words and numbers and stuff as opposed to other times. And um, this is my favorite one. And I'll do that. Um, yeah. And I'll ink this. And I think I'll put. I think I'll do it like that. And I don't know that I'm going to back it with anything. I may. Let me think here. Ooh, you know what would be pretty? Is if I used a little piece of a doily on there. That would be pretty. So let me do that. And what do I need? That would be very pretty. Let me ink it. And then she'll be perfect. Uh, this is coffee dyed doily. I got these doilies from Soul by Michelle. She has those rectangle doilies. Very lovely. Well, she's got several kinds, but these rectangle ones, love them. Love, love, love them. And I tore them for something, and then I save them. And um, that's this just a little piece of that. I don't know. Y'all see how particular I am about... I'm just going to lay down some glue. Yeah, I'm going to like that. Do the old thumb method there. Let me see. How do I want that? Yeah, that's going to be good. Thumb method on the glue. I don't want to mess with that. I use book pages out of this dictionary I'm not real fond of. I got it at Goodwill and then I get it home and it's got this tiny tiny print. So I'm not I don't you know I don't really care for it so much. So I use it to glue on. You know. Okay, there we go. Now let's stuff it. Stuff it. Um we could do something about these flaps. Um oh my goodness. Everything's going everywhere. I might I might I might. But now on this one. This is a cardstock, and take the ephemera, take the tags out, and the flap wants to do this number. So the tags hold that down. Um, you know what I'm saying? But like I used on a book page, you probably won't have that problem because it's you know really thin. This page, as you can see, it's laying down. Uh, this one, uh, because of this flap, this flap. All of the the folds and whatnot, it, it it does this, you know, without me. So that's why I tied the ribbon around this. But this one lays flat. Your flaps lay lay flat a uh, flat. <laughs> um, you know, you don't have those issues. So a little bit. Let's stuff it right now because that's fun, fun, fun. These are tickets I got from. Um, aren't they gorgeous? I got from Haystack Creations, and um, got these from Tabitha. That's cute, cute, cute. I uh, pulled, I got these from Tabitha from Haystack Creations. And I'm going to put some of those in here too. I'm going to put one on each side. There we go. And I don't know, should I do white or pink? I like the contrast in pink. But if I did... Oh, we'll just let me let me try two first. No, we'll do one. <laughs> Change my mind. So there's that. There's that. Oh, that's cute. Cute, cute, cute. And then I had this. Stamperia paper that um, is double-sided here. Uh, if 
if I was going to embellish it, you know, it, it would be a great uh, tag. And I liked these, and I thought I could put these in as tags, but I like this one better. And then if I put that in there, and maybe another ticket. Another ticket. And then there it is. There we got that one stuffed. I got that one stuffed. I need to look at this one. And and this one. And so here I pulled these other out too. I got these from Saul by Michelle with the little hearts in them. And I put one there. And embellish them, but I put one there. And then I have my big my big my big one. Does this fit? This is a little big. A little on the big side. No. Negatory on that one. I have these tags. These would be pretty in here. And I need to embellish them. But there those are. Let me see what else I have here. I pulled out of a bunch of ephemera that I might stick here, there, and everywhere. And then there. There we are. Oh my goodness. This is great. And then if I had little tiny tags, those would be awesome in there. And I do somewhere. Oh, here they are. Here they are. They were handy. Those would be really good. And then just layer, you know, kind of fan it out. Okay, I like this. I like this. Need, you know, obviously these tags need embellishing. But do you see how when you put the tag in here, holds that flap down? This it laid flat anyway, but when you use cardstock, you're you're really gonna want to put a tag in here or or ephemera that is tall enough that goes above the, the little flap line. Uh, we could um, um, embellish these flaps. Uh, like on this one, I put these papers in here that are little journaling spots. I uh, could have made a little um, pocket here, a little secret pocket. That That's kind of cute idea. Uh, but that is your tuxedo pocket, guys. Uh, that's all there is to it. You're, you're folding and then gluing these little pieces here and here. And then you're it. That's it. That's all there is to it. And then it's embellishing. And um, uh, I'll get to work on these tags. Make those cuter. Uh, slap some um, slap some cute stuff on there. And um, uh, but see, once I stuff it, it does do that. So all I do is take a piece of ribbon and tie it, or twine, or lace. Twine would be pretty. Uh, I think instead of uh, this just happens to be handy for me right now but I think I will use twine on this one but then that closes it and that's all there is to it and it's easy 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 and this is a really fun project I love it and um, and but this is just one of the events where like I said tonight was like a, a kickoff thing for the events uh, the slider card is another one and um, and then we have our tags on Thursdays. They're called Tag Time Thursdays. Uh, basically, you know, kind of like the the Tag Tuesday or um, some some other people. They, people call them, all the groups call them different things. Uh, we just had Thursday open, and I said, hmm, Tag Time Thursday. That works. And <laughs> I'm, I'm a real genius, guys. Uh, but <laughs> real genius, I say. Uh, anyway, uh, the, we have the tags. There's the, um, oh, the butterflies and lace tags. Oh, my gosh. Who wants to sign up for that? Me, me, me. Um, we have, like, the grateful uh, Thanksgiving type tag. Um, 
I can't remember all of them right now. My brain has, has left the building. But uh, there's four different... Oh, cooking. And um, see, it's going to bug me. Uh, there's one more. Hinged. Yes. Oh, ding, ding, ding. Chicken, chicken, winter dinner. I did it. Um, but there's the four tags, and those are on Thursdays. That, the, that'll that start this Thursday. And, um, and so we're, we've got some fun stuff going on. And I love your posting, showing us your inspiration. Everybody's doing great with that. Encouraging everybody. We've got the Board of Blessings, uh, Dangles to Inspire. And Dangles, I want to say, do not have to be, and thank goodness for this, do not have to be beads. I personally, it's it's one of the supplies that I just don't have, and I haven't been, like, like all fired up to get it, honestly. Um it beading bead work is just not not my not my strong suit but um uh the dangles can be anything yeah i get a bulb pen or or however you want to connect them together and uh and as long as they as long as they dangle you know and uh the dangles to inspire is a fun event and um and it's we just got a lot going on a lot of good stuff and if you have any questions on anything uh, please uh, PM me uh, or or Tabitha or Mandy. We'll all all of us will be happy to help you. Michelle is uh, helping us out on some things, and uh, uh, but as far as the events are concerned, uh, me, Mandy or Tabitha will will know what's going on. And uh, I just I look forward to seeing what y'all do and uh, what y'all what y'all create. Let me get this out, show y'all, and uh, I'll post pictures of these in the in the group. So that uh, you know, you have a point of reference. I thank y'all so much for joining me tonight. Y'all are such a blessing to me. And uh, I, I thank you. I thank Jesus for taking the wheel on everything. He always does for me. Lord knows I'm not a good driver. So I need him to drive. And I thank y'all. I'll see you on the page. And if you need me, PM me. I love each and all of you. Each and every one of you. Thank you. Bye.